Welcome to episode 74, Anon Milchin, the only spy self-made billionaire in the world. This is an outline of episode 74. There are three reasons why we study Anon Milchin. First, he's the only self-made billionaire who also confessed to be a spy. Second, he's the richest self-made billionaire in Israel, born in Israel. Now, Patrick Trahi and Wertheimer are richer, but they were not born in Israel. Number three, he's one of the most important film producer in the world, with more than 130 movies, including Oscar's best film. First, the spy stuff. It's, uh, I should have said, you know what? You know I did it for my country, my country, and I'm proud of it. Proud of it. Now, Mr. Allen was suspected of being a spy after one of his executives was indicted in 1985 for uh, basically stealing nuclear materials, but only now did he confirm it. Israeli-born businessman behind hits like 12 Years a Slave. I have a business proposition for you. Pretty Woman. Come on, hit me before I lose my nerve. And Fight Club says he spent years as an Israeli secret agent and arms dealer. He was born in Russellvot, about 30 miles from Tel Aviv, in 1944. He came from a wealthy Jewish family. His dad owned a fertilizer factory. He went to boarding school in the UK and earned a degree from the London School of Economics. His dad died suddenly when he was 21. An excellent businessman, he turned around a bankrupt company into one with $250 million sales. And then something uh, uh, funny happened. Uh, I started to to make uh, sorry uh, m make some money in in a, in pharmaceutical and aerospace and agriculture. So uh. then he met Elliot Kessler, a Jewish film producer, who introduced him to movie making. Kessler would become his mentor. In his childhood, he was fascinated by biographies of artists. So what made me start right yes um, as a little boy uh, I was fascinated by biographies of uh, artists um, mainly painters actually and sculpture I could not as a boy uh, understand how would um, somebody give all his life just uh, Van Gogh cut his ear because he had a, this argument with Gauguin over a color or somebody would starve just to make a painting. Um, um, this commitment and devotion made me very, um, in the beginning, um, uh, interested in their life and later, I can say today, a connoisseur uh, d'art um, and because I was very insecure about art and I loved artists, I just wanted to hang around them. And so in the beginning, I was getting some friends uh, who were painters and writers and sculptors. His double life as a film producer in Hollywood and also as a spy for Israel. Milton moved to Hollywood in the 1970s in a stunning interview that aired Monday on an Israeli investigative program, Milton detailed how he was recruited in the 1960s to Israel's Bureau of Scientific Relations, where he helped gather technology to further Israel's still unacknowledged nuclear program, saying, quote, I did it for my country and I'm proud of it. Well, Bill, he lived like a character in his own films. Remember uh, Brad and Angelina and Mr. and Mrs. Smith, Undercover Spies? Well, Arnon Milshan was a film producer and arms dealer who spied on the U.S. for Israel, not only funneling guns to the Middle East, but also illegally smuggling nuclear technology to Israel. 
Milsham produced more than 100 films, and he used that cover to spy for the Bureau of Scientific Relations, an agency that Israel shut down after American Jonathan Pollard was convicted of spying for it in 1987. Now, in this documentary that aired on Israeli TV yesterday, Milshan admitted leading a double life, producing in Hollywood while also obtaining military secrets. He started small in the beginning, making 300 commercials before he ventured into films. Movie stars we are so making, we did uh, Isabella Gianni and... Uh, or Willett. Yeah. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> and after about 300 commercials, I started to get some courage, and uh, that's how it started. <laughs> His biggest budget movie was Once Upon a Time in America. The movie was made in 1984. It actually lost him a lot of money. The budget was $30 million, the box office was $5.3 million. Arnon Milshan presents a Sergio Leone film starring Robert De Niro, Once Upon a Time in America, and their lives. You'll put up and you'll shut up. You hear nothing and you see nothing, just like you did for Bugsy. <laughs> oh! You was better off you stayed in the Bronx. As men, they shared a dream. I swear to God, no, those you and me together, we can make it come true. To rise together from poverty to power. There they are. The four horsemen of the apocalypse. His brick break came in 1990 with the production of Pretty Woman. The budget was $14 million. The box office, a whopping $463.4 million. I let you calculate the profit. With the huge success of Pretty Woman, he would found his own film production company, Regency, in 1991. Milton worked with just about every actor and actress in Hollywood. He produced the movie Fight Club in 1990 with Brad Pitt and Ed Norton. The middle children of history, man. No purpose or place. We have no great war. No great depression. Our great war is a spiritual war. Our great depression is our lives. His movie, The Renaman, would earn him Oscar Best Picture in 2016. Budget $135 million. Box office $533 million. More than half a billion dollars. What if I learned today, 
A non-Milchin is the only self-made billionaire who admitted to being a spy. He's also a legendary film producer in Hollywood with more than 130 films to his credit. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your comments and questions below. My coming video will be six lessons of Anon Milchen. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.